Good morning and welcome to the Idea Ladies. My name is Carrie. I'm Janine. And we are live here on Facebook in downtown Langley at the Passionate Home. Candace is with us behind the camera. Good morning. Uh, good morning. We are here every Friday morning at 9.30 hoping to help you create a beautiful life and inspire you to try something new, to decorate, to do whatever it is right. that we're talking about. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Let's talk about fall decorating. You know, it started raining a little bit and I felt like I just wanted to get cozy. It was cold for the first time all summer. And I know you saw me the other night. I posted that I was painting pumpkins. I still do. I was painting pumpkins and I'm like, what? It's summer. But then this morning I woke up, the heat is on, yeah. and it's September the 1st. And it feels like fall. It, it does. It feels like fall. I, went, I, I stepped out in the yard and go, Mike, come here. Smell it. He's like, what do you smell? I'm like, it's fall. I smell it in the air. I can feel it. Yeah. Right? Well, even like today's supposed to be like 26 or something, but it really cools down quickly at night. So it does. And the morning is so crisp. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, ladies, from Mike. Thanks, Good Mike. Good morning. Hopefully you can hear us. We don't have our mics on today, but um, we're going to speak loudly. Right. Um, I think this is kind of funny because... We, deci we decided we would do fall decor today, uh, but neither Janine or I, we don't talk to each other really about what we're going to bring or what we're going to do. And then when we unloaded this morning, I'm like, hey, we're almost the same, <laughs> but clear color palette differences. I think so. Um, I think <laughs> you can imagine what her house looks like, right? Beautiful. Uh, so yours too. For the next uh, for about the next 20 minutes, we're going to fill your head with ideas on how to decorate for fall. Perfect. So, first, you have to just, like dress the part. Right. Yeah, I, love it. I got my pumpkin pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, we get into this. Like we we're really get there. into it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the first thing I noticed with everything that you brought was how you have recreated a dollar store pumpkin using right and on chopping, right? Well, Dollar Store recycled through the Passionate Home on sale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm selling all these pumpkins that we use for display, and she's buying them all. I'm like, what are you doing? This is what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They make so, them beautiful. Um, you can go to the Dollar Store, and they have those glossy, terrible, bright orange pumpkins. Um, okay, yes. Here's one. <laughs> So pretty. pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a dry brush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did those three. So would you say that dollar store pumpkins are a must for fall decorating? Yeah, for sure. A must. Yeah. A must. Okay. Yeah. I don't even I've got a few different kinds of pumpkins. I also got these here at the Pasha. Oh. Right? So we had some wool pumpkins and I don't know why, but we ended up pulling a lot of them out. Um, well, because we got a shipment in during COVID, like it came in uh, late, right. and mm -hmm. then it, every year it bounced back, but we had so mm -hmm. many pumpkins. We did. Have we that. did. So hopefully yeah. you got to take advantage of some of the great prices on those. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I also see that you have candles. Now, I also um, mm -hmm. have a candle. I'm going to do a little display here. That I, 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 it's funny that we brought the same thing, so clearly we think. Pumpkins are a for sure thing for fall decorating and candles, right? Yeah. I love your little work. candle holders that you have there. Now, you have a cat. Do you actually like these? No. No, I have to put them in things like this mm -hmm. because she likes to walk by and her tail catches on fire. Yeah. It's really not a good idea. <laughs> so you can put a candle in any kind of vessel. Even a candle like this in a little um, yeah. holder, you can drop, right drop it right in there. Maybe you might have to cut it down. The candle itself or put a shorter candle in there but yeah. um i think i, I was at um, i went to value village last night i have not been through 
thrifting in a very long time. And I was shocked at the prices. I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what is going on? Is there a new person in the back? Because <laughs> this is crazy. But what I did see were tons and tons of glass vessels in all shapes and sizes. And they really are amazing for all holidays. They are. Mm -hmm. Um, we actually got some at the dollar store as well. Remember when we went to try and get vessels for knobs or something else yeah. for display? Yeah, and they did. They had a lot of as mm -hmm. well. They did. Mm -hmm. Probably less money than the value. I, mean, I think so. Sometimes that is true. Well, um, okay. So candles are a must for fall decorating, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I wanted to share some that we have because we still have a few candles left and they're 40% off. So this is a pack of eight. And they were thirty-one twenty-five. So you can never have enough taper candles. Yeah, no, beautiful. Right? No. Even if you're not burning them, but you should. Right, you should. How much you like that? Well, like I just like okay, I'm gonna reach way over here. So when they're displayed, I just like them burnt down anyway. Like I purposely will sit there and like supervise my candles while they're burning and then blow them out so that they look like I used them, even though I probably am never gonna light these again. Right? <laughs> 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 Hello, pretty. Um, those are lovely candle holders. They really yeah. are. Those are here. So, okay. Um, okay. Uh, obviously, another must for fall decorating is antlers because we both brought. I brought lots antlers. of antlers. Mm -hmm. um, Gorgeous. You have tons of them throughout your home. I do. You so you're decorating all year round, not just fall. Yeah. yeah, I have lots on the wall and all kinds of places. So usually at home, this is what this looks like. It's just sitting on um, my little. So this is like a little charcuterie yeah. board. Yeah. You probably have one at home. Right? Yeah. And I just have candles and my antlers. And then sometimes I'll go out in the garden and pick a vase of flowers and stuff. Um, mm. But this time for fall, right, you just throw a couple little pumpkins on there. And yeah. then it just makes your display now ready for fall. Now, Beautiful. if you don't have antlers, you could use sticks. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to give that color. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. if you don't, like, some people really don't like antlers, right? Just use more pumpkins. Or what about adding pine cones? Pine yes. cones. Nature. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, fall is all about nature. I love getting out into nature. Uh, well, I do it all the time. But um, last night, we walked the dog at Alder Lake Park, and I took some scissors. I felt a little like a felon. <laughs> I'm like running through the park with scissors. Yeah. Okay, no, don't run with scissors. But um, And I collected all these weeds, okay? So pretty. And mm -hmm. literally... They were sitting out overnight, so they've kind of dried up a bit, but all this different color and beauty, this will dry just like yeah. this. I could drop this in one of these clear vases that I picked at the dollar store or the thrift store, and this is a beautiful fall Gorgeous. decorating. Yeah. But yeah. that's where the pine cones and nature comes in that you could totally, yeah. like you can actually cut this down, put it in a little mason jar. I love doing that. With some pine cones and add it into her decor. Beautiful. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. well, I did because when I was talking about nature, I wanted to show the flowers you brought me at our company barbecue. They're still going? These oh. are the flowers that <laughs> you brought me as a gift. And I dried them because I thought it, they were so beautiful. <laughs> and they're just in a pickle jar. Yeah. Um, do you want that back? No, you can keep it. <laughs> I need a lot of pickles and all of stuff. So there you go. But I thought to myself, so, think about making a vessel like Janine has mm. a cutting board. I just took one of my ironstone bowls. You can have any bowl, put in my dried flowers, and you could surround this with little pumpkins and pine cones, right? Yeah. And that could be. Uh, a centerpiece. Super sweet. Mm -hmm. And again, you could use, you know, the, the things from the uh, park or mm -hmm. just the dry, like dry hydrangeas. You don't have dried ones, you have silk ones, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they are a fall must have for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. One of the photos you shared this morning on the stories had lots of hydrangeas in them. And these are from my garden that I dried. You could put this in here. Oh, yeah. You could put, but can I just say, does anyone know what a flower frog is? Mm. I'm going to take this apart. <laughs> Look at this. This is a flower frog. This is great for every season, no matter what you're how you're decorating. Yeah. Because every decor should have flowers of some type, whether they're silk, dry, real, right? If this is real, you could put water in here and just stick a few little things from your walk in the park. And you get an instant yeah. decor. It's so pretty. 
That's the prettiest flower frog I've ever seen. <laughs> Mine are not that pretty. I've seen a lot of glass ones. Yeah. You know, they're harder to display. You need some. You know what I'm thinking? Could you make your own flower frog with a beautiful bowl and painter's tape? Oh, for sure. Actually, it's ideal. Yeah. I did get flowers from Tom Lennon like that from a florist. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're floral tape. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Same. Looks like painter's tape. Okay, I'm tearing everything apart here. That's all right. Um, the other thing I noticed is that look at all the different vessels Janine has used <coughs> and I've used to display fall decor. Well, this is always on my table just like this. And sometimes like at Christmas, I put pine cones and little wreath, um, sorry, glass balls in there. But ah, I also just drop it in little pumpkins here and there for my fall display, right? And then it just, it, you can use this. Gorgeous. Thing. Oh my God. Instant. Gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. Well, we have two of these left here at the store that give that same, right, shape that you could come and get at 40% off and mm -hmm. drop a few little lovies in here with oh, your dried flowers, too. right? Mike yeah. said, oh, nobody turns a brown pumpkin. That's oh, beautiful. I love it. Okay, I, I have only one hand right now, but these beads would all be gorgeous in here, too, and these are 40% off as well, and they, look at they match my color. I yeah. <laughs> you know the prayer beads, people are like, how do you decorate with them? Mm -hmm. That's a perfect example. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, the This basket you have here, how beautiful would that be on your front door? I know. Okay, so I think so too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you need to get a throw, right? This helps warm everything up. So whether you have this on the back of a chair, you yeah. throw like a rocking chair or something, hanging out of a basket, and then I stuffed it. I was going to put burlap in here, but I'm using my burlap. So I put some big nuts in the store. Anyway, um, so, how do you <laughs> fill up the so that you don't have to fill it with pumpkins, right? They're just kind of sitting on top. There's one flower stem in here and three pumpkins. I need this. Yeah, I love, love that. Love that. Janine, you better take all this home. Just kidding. <laughs> if you don't have a blanket, you could use a scarf. Yeah. yeah. Right. Scarf is great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Men's scarves at the thrift store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And we have the two pews, the church pews. Wouldn't well, that be stunning? Yeah. Like it's kind of a deacon's bench and a pew you could just put outside your front door and totally um, do up a display. We have some great pillows still. And pillows are buy one, get one free. So yeah. kind of like this. Like how cute is all of this together? Like, I love it. And your cute colors. little skirt. <laughs> Super cute idea. Yeah, super cute. These Bling it up, on. right? Yeah, I mean, there's so many things you could use for that. But for don't, sure. don't discard it because it's broken. Mm -hmm. Think, ooh, what else? Have, even a piece of stick. Yeah. You could right? stick in that. Well, and you could cut it a little bigger and use it for flowers, right? So then it could become your vase. Oh, you mm -hmm. totally so could. Just like, yeah. Oh. So if you used an exacto knife and then put some of your dry flowers in You there. could put a stick and take that twine and wrap it around there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Where's so the cool. All the ideas. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to point out too were these little um, terracotta vases we have here at the store. They're 40% off. They're $6, so they're like free. Um, and you could put just a little mini pumpkin in I here. Cute. Right? And put it in your display as well. Yeah, and that helps give you height. Yeah, like that. totally. Mm -hmm. um, and the color is beautiful, no matter what your um, hmm. color story is, right? Yeah, yeah so, <laughs> so in our clearance section at 75% off, we still have some fall signs left. So these were $12, so what does that make them for? Three. Three? Two. Yeah. Almost three! Almost yeah. three. For you! Almost three. <laughs> Morning, Grace. So how cute. And yeah, I love it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions at all? No um, questions. So Teresa says fall is her favorite time of year. And Valerie says, good morning, ladies. Guess it's time to pull out the fall decor. It Definitely. Is that chill is in the air. Um, so I'm, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Okay, mm -hmm. this is a beautiful wood bowl. Yeah. Um, and it's got a Back when I was a kid, the wood salad bowl was the big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the salad bowl, the wood bowl that you oil, and you have the tongs. And, 
Well, this bowl is amazing, and I always have it with um, a mix of antlers in it and then seasonal things like pine cones and stuff. And I thought this morning I would show you how you could probably make, okay, watch, it won't work now, but okay, a call. you got to find the balance of putting this in. And then I have, now my color palette is a little bit different, but I do have mine white. Um, <laughs> but... And I also have gorgeous oh, yeah, yeah, pretty mm -hmm. for fall. And you could totally just not overthink, right? There's my orange. Okay, maybe it should go over here. I mean, these are just kind of fun things you can do. So pretty. Um, Ooh, I love that one. Now, I, at first I was like, oh, I'm going to put the orange in it. Like, no, cheap orange. I don't want it. Um, but... It does stand out more than the mm -hmm. other ones. Like it I does. Mean, not gonna, somewhere. not gonna lie. It wasn't very good. Um, but I'm just coming in. Those ones are so oh, okay. pretty. Like yeah. It's and the yellow. Just have that. I think I'm gonna be, gonna be, be done at this okay. point, right? Like yeah. it's still pretty. So look at this, right? You could just have all this. That is so beautiful. If mm -hmm. you wanted to add a few leaves, but mm -hmm. I think that's a simple thing to mm. do. Um, with a mix of nature and, and um, pumpkins and gourds and that sort of thing. <laughs> you could put a little harvest sign in front of it. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. um, so when I'm busy here at the store, I don't get a lot of time to decorate my own home. And you, you did you bring what you said you were going to bring yesterday? I did. Did you? Well, I, I just wanted to one-up you. I know, I saw it. Oh, I, I saw it. He's adorable. Yeah, he doesn't come out until October, but I had to share because well, we were going to be here in October. Right? Um, yeah. Oh, oh well, cute. So cute. Okay, so, what do you have? Okay. okay. Yeah. So while Janine says, oh, I'm going to bring my Frankenstein. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Well, just to keep it fun, I, I have one thing I take out in October. Okay. And that is my Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> watch for children, and then I put out my decor because that's how I'm uh -huh. organized I am. I get this. It's filled with the candy that my husband hasn't eaten. And I put that there. And then I hang this. Oh, oh I yeah. love it. I, I did. I love that. There yeah, you go. That's what I do. Really? I'm a sad. <laughs> there was a day when I went out and I had a wagon and a Frankenstein and I did all those things. And, and um, th this is how pathetic. Mike says no words. Wow, you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, pretty much. There's so many things you can do for fall. you got to have fun with it. Um, get out in nature, collect some things, dry some flowers, paint some pumpkins, paint some pumpkins mm. and have some fun. Um, anything else we wanted to mention? Uh, okay. Our, our sale. Like, like, oh, yeah. Everything that we have here is at least 40% off, excluding the chicken. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. We have some great things. 75% off. Great. It is September 1st. Mm -hmm. This is day one of the last month here at the Passionate Home. We don't have an exact date that we're going to close. It's really going to depend upon what we have left. If you haven't been here recently, the top floor is pretty much empty. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a dance floor. Ooh, it hints. You might want to stay tuned. Uh, but downstairs here, we still have lots of beautiful things. Lots of the stuff that we're showing is at a discount, so you can start your fall decorating here at the Passionate mm -hmm. Home. Uh, we would love to see you. Um, and make sure you're following on social media because there's lots of things that um, we're deciding to do last minute 
and you won't want to miss those opportunities. So thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you get your fall on and that we've inspired you today. And we, um, yeah, would love to see you. So yeah, um, and tune in next Friday at 9.30 because we're going to do something great. <laughs> yeah, we do. Awesome. Thanks so much and have a great day. We'll see you soon. Happy long weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>